Hey, welcome back. This is the last video in our sequence of methods with strings. After this video, you should, get ha you should have a good handle of how we can process strings. Now, we haven't covered all of the methods for strings, uh, but, but you should feel pretty good about being able to you know, go online and check out all of the different methods that, uh, that, that Python has to offer and how you can use them, read the documentation, and uh, check out some of these uh, methods on your own. All right, let's get started then. And uh, the next method that I want to look at is uh, is justifying the strings, and we're going to use uh, we're going to use R just, L just, right and left justification, and center justification. It's just center. So, uh, for example, let me actually let me clear this. I'm, I'm going to start fresh from the last video. Just clear everything. Okay. So let's say uh, we have a string, right? We're talking about methods with strings. Why do I keep putting the W after the hello? We're talking about using methods on strings. So here's uh, here's a here's a string hello, and we're gonna say we're gonna justify that R just, and we're gonna give it an integer as an input, like ten. And what this does is it right justifies because we said R just the string hello. So you can see how it's been pushed to the right. And 10 is the total number of characters in my output string. So what this does is it pads space to the left of it in order to push hello to the right, because we asked for right. So it pads space so that the total number of characters is equal to the, you know, whatever we told it. So if we, if we tell it 20, for example, then it's going to pad it hello way over here. Hello has five characters, so here to the left of hello is 15 space characters. Right Here would be 10, uh, no, five, excuse me, five space characters. And we could say hello, um, we can say L just, although this won't have as dramatic of an effect. You see hello is right there, you know, justified to the left, and then there are 15 space characters, you know, padding it to the right. And um, similarly, we can uh, say hello.center. Let me do that. Center is the other method here. And you see now this total is 20 characters, and hello is roughly in the center of that. And we could say, we could say 30, right? And Increase that so now this is 30 characters, most of which are uh, blank space, right? But then hello is in the middle of uh, that justification. And the cool thing about uh, L just, R just, and center is that uh, we can actually give it a second input to change, you know, what what character is doing the padding. So by default, the character is white space, but it doesn't have to be. Let me go up to the first command that I typed up there. Hello. Uh, with the uh, right justification of 10, I'm going to give it a second input argument, so comma, and then I'm going to give it like an asterisk a as a string. Okay, and I'll hit enter, and then you see what it's done here is it's padded hello, you know, right justification, but it's padded with uh, the asterisk instead of the blank space. So that's kind of neat too. And you can see now that the total length was 10, and if I make that 20, you can see now there are 15 asterisks there. Uh, if I do L justification, uh, hello, hello uh, dot L justification, and maybe I make uh, make some equal signs to do the justification. You see, uh, indeed, that I have 15 equal signs and then five characters for a total of 20. And uh, just just so you get the idea, uh, we can have like center. Center and there you go. So we have 20 characters, most of which are um, the equals sign in this case. Now the the reason you would use R just and L just and center is if you wanted to display items like in a nice tabular fashion. So that's what we're going to do next. And I'm actually going to write a little program over here in my editor just just so that we get the idea of how this can be used. And I'm going to define a function. We're going to call it um, print picnic picnic there we go and the, the picnic is going to take like 
uh, or this function is going to take an item dictionary, like uh, so we'll say items dict, and the item dictionary is going to contain um, a string of of the uh, the the uh, the food, and then how much. That, so the the uh, the key will be the food, and then how much will be the value, and then we're going to print all this good stuff. And we might want to change the width of our of our table, so we're going to we're going to also input the left width and the right width. If that doesn't make sense right now, that's okay. It should, but it should make sense uh, as we go through this. And then in my function, uh, I'm going to say I'm just going to start with a header, and we'll say pick picnic items okay and then we're going to use center justification like if we want our, our title of our table to be to look nice we probably want it to be center justified and so we'll say center and then um, I'm going to I'm going to make a total number of characters left with plus right with Okay, and then um, I'm also going to give it that optional argument, maybe the equals sign, so that it'll just it'll pad it with the equals sign. So that'll make a nice little header in our table. And then we're going to iterate through the items dictionary. So we're going to say for, and we're going to unpack the keys and the values for key. Uh, I guess we'll say how about for food. We'll keep it descriptive for food and amount. Okay, so we're unpacking those in items dict. Okay, and then dot items colon right, and then we're going to print the uh, food, and we're going to keep the food like to the left, like it's its own column. So we're going to say food um, dot left just, and we'll give it the left width and we might want to give an, another optional argument we'll, we'll use the period to just to do the padding right and then we're going to also concatenate that with um, the the number the, the amount of that food item and so that's going to be an integer so we're going to have to uh, convert it to a string okay now once it's a string then we can write justify it write just and we'll write justify it with the right width yeah uh, yeah that looks good all right and and that's it so this function will not return anything it just does the printing and then we'll define outside of our function we'll define the picnic items and maybe we have so here's our dictionary right the curly brackets and maybe we have some sandwiches sandwiches and how many of them do we have maybe uh, maybe maybe uh, three okay and then we've got maybe some apples okay and how many of those do we have maybe maybe uh, maybe five apples and then uh, maybe we have some cups and maybe we have th two cups and um, maybe we have several cookies okay maybe maybe uh, 20 cookies or something like that. Okay, so there's our dictionary, and uh, then now I will print the contents of my dictionary. So I'll I'll, I'll make a a call to my function, print picnic, and I'll give it the picnic items, and then I'm also going to give it how much how much I want to left justify, and how much I want to right justify. All right, so let's run that. I'll just control S and then run. All right, so you see now our pretty little printing that we've got here. You'll see the the table header, right? And that comes from this line here. So what we've done here on line 2 of our code is uh we've we've printed picnic items and we center justified it. So you see how it's in the center and then um we put uh, a total number of characters to be 17, which is the left width plus the right width, 17. And so um, it turns out we only needed five padding characters because uh, picnic items has 12. So 12 plus 5 is 17. So there it is. There's our header. Then we iterate through the dictionary and um, 
then for each uh, you know uh, key value pair in the dictionary we're going to print the key or the food and we're going to left justify it so it goes so sandwiches is the first thing in our dictionary so that goes to the left and then we're going to pad it with a period so that it's a total of 12 characters but since sandwiches is a long string it only gets like two uh, two periods there because that would be a total of 15 is that right? Let me let me count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so it's a total of 12 characters. Sandwiches is 10, and then the two periods make 12. And then uh, the, the amount of sandwiches is 3, and we've, we've told it to right justify the amount, and, uh, with, and we didn't give it the padding character, so by default it is... Uh, the space and we we asked for a total of five characters there so the three is one character and then here's four spaces for a total of five and so then when it keeps iterating you know apples is shorter than sandwiches so apples will have more uh, periods and and so on like that okay and we can we can play with this now because left with and right with our uh, input uh, arguments so we can we can say something like maybe we want a, a wider table so we'll give it 20 characters to left justify so this is going to make more periods and then maybe we don't want as much on the on the right side so we'll say four and then I'll run that and you see this looks like a little bit nicer so you can see how the, we have more periods now because we have 20 characters a total of 20 characters in the in the left uh, column right and then we have a total of four characters in the right column so for example I'm highlighting the 20 20 is two characters and then there are two spaces there to make four characters something like the two here would have uh, the two is one character and then it has three spaces and it's been right justified so that looks good then all right now finally a couple more methods that I want to mention here are the are, uh, to going to help us remove white space and that's uh, the strip method and the right strip method and the left strip method All right so uh, now I'm gonna clear this and start fresh so let's say we have spam equals and maybe we've got like a lot of space and then hello world this would be a common situation like if you've just kind of um, you're, you're, you're beginning to parse a document and you've picked up like a lot of white space at the beginning of words strings because you've identified breaks and sentences and new line characters and so forth so let's let's say we have a string that uh, has lots of space actually we're gonna give it some space at the end too like this so that's our spam string sometimes you want to strip away that space like you want to get just at the text and so we can use spam dot strip and we're not going to pass it any input arguments and that returns hello world you see so it's stripped the uh, the space from the left and the right okay and and this is stripping white space characters so it's it's stripping the space tab and new line characters which is interesting um, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit but also you can use L strip and R strip like uh, spam dot L strip okay so this just strips the space from the left side and you can guess what R strip is going to do that strips just the space on the the right side. Now let's say we had a a um, string that was like hello comma and then a new line world like this. Okay so let's print spam. So spam looks uh, yeah so let me let me print spam spam yeah so here's what spam looks like. It's got the space, and then it's got hello, comma, and then a new line, world, and then uh, more space, right? We can, we can also strip away the new line with the strip method as well. So we can say uh, spam.strip, and uh, spam.strip. Oh, 
oh it's excuse me it's not it's not since it's not at the beginning of the of the string it's not going to strip away the new line that's that's uh, that's a bad example Hang on, let me give you another example let's say we have a bunch of space followed by a new line that's what I wanted to do okay so let's print spam just to see what we're dealing with okay so you see spam has a bunch of space and then it's got a new line and then it's hello world and then it's got more space now we can strip away the new line we can say spam dot strip and then it returns just hello world it's it's uh, stripped away that space um, and then if again remember that these things are not done in place so if we wanted to save that we would have to say like new spam or something we'd have to define a new variable spam dot strip and then now we print new spam right and now that space is gone alright so I think that's all I want to say about methods for strings um, yeah, and uh, you know that's certainly not all of them. I want to emphasize that this is not all of the string, uh, all of the methods that we can use for strings. There are plenty more, but uh, this, these are the most useful and the most common that you'll see for strings. Thank you.